DSTL is working towards protecting UK helicopters against man-operated threats. For obvious safety reasons, we can't use live fire uh, against live helicopters. What we're looking for is a two-stage approach to overcome this problem. We're looking for a simulated approach in a lab environment and then a live flight environment using a simulated weapon system. So if we start with the threat operator, we need to represent the weapon characteristics, which are a rapid rate of fire and dispersion, and we need to simulate the consequences of firing, such as muzzle flash, smoke, vibration, and tracer, and display these correctly to the weapon operator. The importance of simulation when testing new concepts is that it's cheap relative to live flying, it's easy to repeat, and you have full control of the environment in which your testing takes place. Live flying is also important because the environment on a real aircraft is different to that in a lab. There are factors such as noise and vibration, and there may well be others that we don't even realise are an issue until we test something, which is why, in order to make sure something works properly, you have to do it on a real aircraft as well as in the lab. We have the Helicopter Countermeasure Assessment System. This system is a real-time, man-in-the-loop engagement model built on the virtual battle space VBS-2 synthetic environment and comprises of a heavy machine gun fitted with pneumatics to simulate realistic vibration and recoil of gunfire and a helicopter flight simulator for trained pilots to use reacting to warning cues displayed on the threat warning indicator. Currently this system relies heavily on VBS-2 and its inbuilt ballistics and flight models. The STL is now looking to advance this system developing an open architecture to allow correct ballistics and representative flight models to be included into it. As UK moves to more, a more integrated survivability approach on its aircraft, we need to be aware that stimming the sensors on the aircraft needs to be instantaneously operated by the weapon system. Once that's done, the platform then uh, is going to deliver some form of indication to the aircrew that they're under attack. This indication needs to cue the aircrew to fly a particular tactic or procedure and we need to understand how the aircrew react to that particular message set. And finally, whatever countermeasure we deploy or we induce as a procedure, then we need to test that effect on the weapon operator down on the ground. And we need to record all those bits of information uh, from the weapon system, from the platform, what the aircrew did, and try and fuse all those pieces of information together to give us a credible answer on the performance of that particular technique or procedure or countermeasure. What we need from industry is ideas on, on how to overcome the challenges that we presented. How do we, how do we deal with all those weapon effects? How do we fuse the data from the uh, aircraft correctly? And how do we start to uh, overcome some of the challenges that we've got?